I'm like, man, why I keep getting looked over? I do nothing but great shit. Mm-hmm. But then when somebody else emulate what I do, the world slap them on the ass and applaud. Like, why don't nobody notice me? Because it wasn't my time yet. Mm-hmm. I wasn't ready to receive these blessings. These blessings wasn't denied. They was just delayed. So now I'm receiving my blessings. You got to be loyal to yourself first also. You can't obligate yourself to a false cause. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people, a lot of men, we as men as being providers, a lot oftentimes we do that. So my philosophy is this. I'm not here to give marriage advice. I tell people either you grow together or you grow apart. That's it. Once you stop growing together, it's over with. I don't think it can ever be rekindled. Because y'all on two different journeys. When you forgive people, it's not to rectify the affair or get the matter resolved. It's to the, resolve the matter internally. Oh, for I'm forgiving you for me, not for you. I'll probably never deal with you again, but I forgive you. Mm-hmm. But it just showed me I can't be looking for myself inside of other people, and we do that a lot of times. I can't expect you to be the way I'm built, because I'm cut from a bandana. A lot of these dudes cut from shit paper. So I can't expect you to be like me. And I understand that and I respect it. I just know how far to go with you now. I got disconnected my Instagram, got off social media, and I was by myself. And just in, through the course of events, like I don't want to talk about it cause to trigger nobody, but Absolutely. I was going to kill myself. I wasn't happy. And I don't do all that, hey, I'm about to throw a big parade about it. I'm going to just do it in silence. Because all that talking, that's horse playing. If you're going to do it, let's, hey, let's get it done. So I was about to bolt myself to the floor. Sometimes you could be so powerful in your truth that just a person standing on side of you exposed them for who they really is. Mm. They can't stand on side of you because you would expose them. You the truth. I'm my authentic self every day. However I feel, I'm going to say it, no filter. Mm-hmm. It's just me. Look at it as real people and fake people. Real people do real things. Fake people do fake shit. And you never know who your blessing going to come through so you can't judge. And when I love somebody, like when I love you, that's why I don't get close to people now, because when I love you, I don't care about what consequences come. I am the sacrificial lamb if I love you. Mm -hmm. I'm getting up out of my bed at 3 a.m. in the morning for you. I'm going to die for you. I'm going to kill for you. Whatever it mean, I'm going to do this. And the love I showed people, I never got that love back in return. Mm -hmm. Never. Never not one time. It's every organization I was with that I helped make great. They will use me until they didn't need me no more. If I, if I hurt your feelings, I'm going to do it with pure intentions. I love you, but I love me more. I got to protect my energy. That's not a crime. I'm going to forgive you yes. for me. Real talk. Because I don't want to harbor resentment towards you. Mm-hmm. I don't want to cringe every time your name brought up. So I'm going to forgive you yeah, absolutely. for what you did. But I'm not going to forget what you did. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to forgive you Hey, be careful how you treat the people at the bottom Because the janitor may be the owner A lot of times when people see me happy I mean, some of the most beautiful smiles I had the greatest hurt I was dying on the inside Real talking to pure talk I was dying on the inside And I'm just <laughs> hey, hey, And you're guilty of it too I talked to myself I used to think I was weird for doing it Then I read that all geniuses talk to themselves I'm in tune with myself. I can be alone. Is it difficult? It is. A lot of people can't be alone with themselves. They Mm -hmm. gotta watch TV or play music to keep themselves distracted because it's a lot of things that we suppress. As a friend, if I see you acting irresponsibly, it's my job and my duty to let you know that you're doing something that's self-sabotaging. You're engaging in self-sabotaging behavior. I'm guilty of this. I'm I'm the biggest self-sabotager there is. And whenever I engage in that type of behavior, it usually stems from something internal that I have going on. And a lot of times as a friend, we don't want to piss the person off and hurt them or sow discord between us and them. But you got to tell them the truth. Listen, it's not you I don't like. I just don't like your behavior. You know, and I'm only telling you this out of a place of love, care, and concern. I've been releasing relationships, people out of my lives that have been baggage, 
people that I love that I was afraid to tell them the truth. Like, listen, I love you, but I don't like what you do. And you're hindering me from going where I need to go. So I need to release you with love. I love you, but I release you with love from all spiritual agreements, all spiritual contracts, all soul ties, and all energies that no longer serve my higher self. But I love you, but we can we go no further because just having that attachment is keeping me from being what I'm supposed to be. And since I've been releasing a lot of baggage, my career has just went back through the roof. Why is that? It's the energy. Yeah. Do you choose to be alone? Yeah. Why? Because I love my family. I yeah. don't need no friends. Yeah, man. What I need a friend for? I am the bodyguard. I am the protection. I can't say that ain't nothing going to happen. But Drink, no. I'm going to die for us, baby. I heard that. And nobody on the nice. payroll would do that for you. I'm going to die for us, baby. And every great man is an even greater woman. And a man is handicapped without his woman.